Another set of referencing conventions that we need to be familiar with are those that relate the syllabus for the exam to the course materials and the course materials to the official manual and the official manual to the syllabus. So the syllabus is closely cross-referenced throughout the course materials and in each syllabus reference there is a syllabus area, so for example IP for initiating a project, one of the processes we haven't yet seen in detail. And then there's an exam ID, which can only be P for practitioner or F for foundation. A learning level, which we will explain when we get to looking at the exam makeup. And an item number, which is simply runs in sequence uh, to a low number, normally less than 10. So anytime you see something like SU colon F colon 3 dash one, that would be starting up a project, foundation, question level three, number one. Anytime you see an entry such as 10323, then these are section numbers from the official manual. So within chapter 10, if we look at 10.3, and within 10.3, which is chapter 10 is progress, 2.3, we get technical stages. So 10.3.2.3 is the conversation about technical stages within the official manual. If we need to look at a lower level of definition below that, then P3 or BP2 for paragraph or bullet point. So if you have a copy of the manual and you go and find at 10.3.2, the second bullet point underneath it will say give the ability to ensure and at 10323 paragraph 3 we can go 1, 2, 3, often the boundary.